a mí. find lots of resources if you're interested in, in this music. And one of the very first books ever written, the first book that was written was by Kiola Beamer uh, in the early 70s, I want to say around 1972. Uh, and then shortly after that, a wonderful guitarist who really was a big influence on how everyone plays slack key today, his name was Leonard Kwan. Uh, a book was written and published uh, of his music, and the only place you can find it is in maybe in your uncle's bookshelf way in the back, uh, or at the Hawaii State Public Library. And uh, this is it. This, they call it the Red Book. And this was really uh, a huge, huge revelation when it came out, because a lot of these tunings were very closely guarded family secrets. And there are different tunings from different parts of the island. There are Nihau tunings, there are tunings from the Mauna Loa area of the Big Island. This tradition started in Waimea on the Big Island. And this book features all these different tunings, Wahine tunings, Ni'ihau tunings, the Mauna Loa tuning. What I'm playing it now is called Tarot Patch, the open G tuning. And so there's a song, it's one of the standard slack key songs, it's called Opihi Moi Moi. And so I'll play a little bit of that song, and it, if you're interested in learning it, it's right here in the book. It's a very archaic way of writing out music, and I, if you look in here, let me see if I can find an example. You're, you're reading through a song, and all of a sudden there's just a blank part in the book, and it says, measure 57, repeat part C, sometimes it'll say, but leave out the third beat, or something like that. <laughs> so it takes, it takes a little bit of, they kind of figured it out a little bit better, so it's, but it's all there, and if you, if you put the time in, you can figure it out. My, my grandfather uh, introduced me to Leonard Kwan's music. He gave me a cassette tape when I was growing up. And Leonard Kwan used to be a good friend of my grandpa. He, he lived on Oahu, and uh, he was a patient. My grandfather was a doctor. And Leonard Kwan wouldn't perform publicly very often. And uh, he had epilepsy, so he was nervous about performing. But what a great musician. He really embraced a lot of different traditions and reflected thorough understanding of the history of slack key, but also brought in elements of jazz and other styles of music. This piece definitely has a little bit of jazz in it, I think. It's a piece called Opihi Moi Moi. <laughs>
So you must know what an opihi is, right? It's a limpet. You have to pry it off the rocks. It's always very dangerous. You have to put your life on the line to, to get some opihi. And uh, opihi moi moi means sleeping opihi, but it's such a lively song. As in, you know, it must be dreaming about the big waves coming or something. But a lot of what I played, as I mentioned, uh, this tradition, a lot of it is very free. So I was improvising probably about at least 60-70% of that, the basing in my mind the, the song and the form. And so that's one thing I really love about this music, and I think it's something that really connects with the jazz tradition in Hawaii.